So, if the um, dominant cultural narrative is making you feel a little crazy right now, well, it is crazy. <laughs> the um, official version of history and reality, as Allen Ginsberg called it, is um, uh, it's been recognised for millennia by the prophets as um, a vision of, of the self and the world that's powerfully constrained by a very narrow point of view. One of the um, aspects that makes the agrarian sharing network this 100% volunteer driven, grassroots, community focused um, movement that, for example, that I'm a part of, significant, is that it offers up a way of um, we'd say a mode of perception and liberating experience, a way of seeing the world and acting positively uh, with it and for it um, in ways that transcend uh, the political challenges of our era, religious challenges of our era as well. We don't so much devote our time to flogging a dead horse to bailing out a sinking ship, but to um, um, transcending these challenges as they essentially fall into irrelevancy. There's a very interesting line in the Quran, well, <clears throat> truth has come and falsehood neither creates nor restores. What we find is that this great global crisis is handmaiden to the revelation of a realm of experience, meaningfulness, significance, authority and legitimacy that fundamentally transcends the um, institutions of culture and of thought that have defined um, human culture for so long. We don't so much look with this new approach to um, <laughs> tear civilization down as much as surpass it, as Abram Joshua Heschel puts it. So I would just say that as the agrarian sharing network's impetus picks up with the rising sap of spring over the course of the next uh, month or two, keep an eye on it. See what sort of models or pivot points are emerging out of a community of interest that transcends a dizzying array of uh, political, religious, non-religious perspectives in a, <coughs> uh, a common gesture supporting the common good. And what do you know? Um, people really enjoy it. It's, um, it feeds us on on so, so, so many levels. Food is our fuel. Food, I've heard, is important. But also the food of our hearts, what truly, truly, deeply feeds us as, uh, as, uh, as human beings. Yeah, so, keep checking us out on uh, Twitter. We're very active on Facebook. And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll find some gem there that might give you um, hope in the um, emergence of what we're sort of referring, or what the mystics have long referred to as the, the New Jerusalem, the New World Creation.